Hey guys, it's Leela. Welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell by the title of the video, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I keep my hair super cool and ashy without toning it. So one thing about being blonde is that it is very, very high maintenance. You have to keep going to the salon and getting toned like every... Like, I would say even, like, for me, at least, it used to be every four weeks, I'd have to be in the salon getting toned. Otherwise, my hair looked super, super orange and brassy, and I hated it. So I would always go get my hair toned. But if you guys tone your hair, you guys know that toner does not last very long. It does wash out really, really fast. I actually found a way to keep my hair from getting brassy and orangey without having to go to the salon every four weeks and get it done. But yeah, if you guys want to see how I keep my hair super cool and ashy without going to the salon, then just keep on watching. Open up. You open up. All right, let's take this guy out. So my hair is still wet because I obviously took a shower. My part is not in the middle. So before I get into like what I'm actually gonna use on my hair, let me show you guys what I use in the shower and then we'll go from there. So the first thing I do obviously is shampoo my hair. So I actually use this Unite Blonda Daily Shampoo. It's actually a white shampoo, so it's not like colored or anything like that. This one's more so to keep the color from stripping from your hair. I don't have any hair color in, just bleach. So this still actually helps to keep the highlights in your hair vibrant and pretty. You're actually supposed to use this like in between using this guy, which is next, to help keep the color vibrant and cool. It smells like blueberries. That's the only thing I can equate it to, but it smells so good. I love Unite because it's a really good high quality brand. You actually, you can actually only get this really in salons, but I found mine on Amazon. It is the same price or like it's a dollar two off, but it's not cheap, but it's not expensive. It's only $28.50 for this guy. If you go on Amazon, I'll link it in the description box below, but I love this stuff and you a little bit really goes a long way. You don't need to use it, like tons of it. You wouldn't need to be replacing it too often, so that's kind of a plus, but this is what I, I, I really, really like this. I've been using this for a while and I really, really like it. So moving on to actually keeping your color, this is the Unite Blonda Shampoo. This is actually a toning shampoo, so it's purple. We can see in the cap, so it's actually purple. Um, but the bottle's purple, so you can't see inside of it. But it's a purple, it's a deep violet. And what you, what I actually do with this, it says that on the back you're only supposed to leave it in for 60 seconds. I actually leave this in for like five minutes in my hair. Um, I think it's more so if you have like platinum or like a really, really ashy blonde, I'm more of like a honey blonde. So if you have like platinum or something a little lighter, I would definitely <laughs> follow the instructions of the bottle, just because you could actually turn your hair a little bit purple or have a little bit of that violet tint to it. But it's really, really strong. Again, a little bit goes a long way. And I just rub it into my hair on the parts that are bleached. So I don't go from the root, I just go from here. But it really, really brings out that ashy, cool gray tone. Actually, if I leave this in too long, sometimes my hair looks a little gray when it comes out of the shower. But um, like if you guys can see, like these pieces are super, super ashy just because this picks up on those lighter pieces really, really well. Um, so I really recommend this. Again, I got this on Amazon. It's like $28.50. I really only need to replace these products every like three months. So I really do recommend this. I'll link it in the description box as well. But yes, Unite is great for blondes. The other item that I really, really use and actually has really helped me a lot is this Fanola No Orange Shampoo. So this actually is the same kind of thing, Purple shampoo is more for yellow tones, whereas blue shampoo is gonna be for those orangey tones. This is good for like the brown parts of my hair, so I do have a blend of like a bunch of different colors, really. I need to go get my hair done because I kind of all want it to be like all one color. Um, but these darker pieces, especially on the underneath, here, let me show you, this one is real. This is really, really dark and brown. If I don't tone this, it turns orange really fast, like really, really fast. So this actually helps to keep it from turning orange or it actually takes some of the orange out. It looks almost black. Like it looks like, 
it's like blue blue so they're really pigmented this one does stain my hands a little bit but honestly it stains your hands and then you wash it again and then all the color comes out like I used it earlier and my hands are fine so I do my unite blonda daily shampoo i do this guy for five minutes and i do my purple shampoo for five minutes and that's what really really gets all of my colors down and i don't really have to worry about toning because between the two it does the job for me after i condition i'll just use my regular conditioner and then once in a blue moon i'll use this guy this is the fanola no orange mask so this is going to be hydrating for the hair as well as toning it's a light blue you can see in the cap it's really creamy it's more like a conditioner but i leave this in for a few minutes just to give my hair a little bit of hydration and it does have the blue pigment in it as well to help keep that nice cool not brassy look so those are all the things i use to keep my hair from turning different colors now this is like my hair care so when you guys bleach your hair if you guys if any of you guys do that you guys know like how much breakage comes with that so usually you want to do things to prevent your hair from breaking. I actually had a really bad experience where the girl burned my hair off. So that was really fun. Um, so in order to repair that, I started doing things to help repair my hair, keep it from getting even more damaged. And that's actually how it grew out so long. It was probably like to hear when I started bleaching it. You do need to feed your hair. You do need it to be nice and moisturized. If you do want it to grow and bleaching and toning does really dry out your hair. So one thing that I'm actually out of right now, I've been meaning to go and buy it. I'll put the little picture right here. It's the Olaplex number no. three bonding treatment. I honestly love that stuff. It really, really makes the difference in the breakage in my hair, my split ends and things like that. It is a really small bottle and it's a little pricey. I have longer hair and I have really thick hair. Like I have a lot of hair. So for me, my hair sucks up this stuff like nobody's business. I probably can get like two, two and a half treatments, maybe three if I'm being like frugal with it. I only do it like once every other week. I don't do it too often. Olaplex isn't something that you use every single day. It's definitely not like that. It's not something that you do super often just because it is really concentrated. So it actually can do the opposite and dry out your hair if you're using it too much. Now going into what I do on the daily. I'm going to show you guys all of the products I pick up. Some of them are drugstore, which is really nice because you can actually get really, really nice stuff at the drugstore. Um, but this one isn't. This is the Unite 7 Seconds Conditioning and Detangling Spray. It's a leave-in detangler. So I'm actually going to do it right now so you guys can see how it looks. So I literally only take a few spritz. You don't need too much. And this spray bottle actually distributes a good amount of it all around the hair so you're not like focusing it in one spot. And it just makes my hair so easy to comb out. Ooh, we got a knot right there. But it makes it really, really easy to comb out my hair. And it leaves it nice and silky and satiny. I also use a wet brush, guys. If you guys have never used a wet brush, I need you to go to Target right now and buy one. It's only like 10 bucks, but this stuff is really good for our anti-breakage as well. The bristles on this are so flexible. Let me show you guys like they're so flexible and that's actually really good because that way it doesn't break out your hair and tear it out any other bristled brushes like this are usually a lot harder and they don't flex while you brush so especially if you're brushing your hair wet you see how it doesn't pull on the hair it only combs through it and then if it can't get through that knot it'll just slip by it that way you're not breaking your hair and tucking at it and pulling at it and getting all those big flaky pieces off your hair <laughs> look at that guys look at the difference look how nice and sleek and soft it is it does give me a little bit of conditioning and then this is what my hair like i'll show you guys what my hair looks like if i don't put it in it's like a little it's it's still a little frizzy it's really hard to get all the knots out this stuff really makes a difference i love it i actually got this on groupon for like $16 usually it's about 28 like as the kind of like the same as the other Unite products um but I found it on eBay for $16.99 it was amazing I was like oh let me get three of these things <laughs> did I say eBay I'm in Groupon <laughs> and my hair is detangled I love this it honestly just makes my day so much easier especially detangling my hair when I get out of the shower it just makes it such a dream moving on this is the next thing I use and I absolutely guys this is this has been the game changer for my hair 
I got this at Target. It's by Organics. And it is a nourishing coconut milk anti-breakage serum. This was $6. And I can't even tell you guys, this stuff has made the, such a difference. All the breakage I had stopped as soon as I started using this. I bought this in January and that's all I've used. It's super creamy. Here, I'll pump it into my hand so you guys can see it. And I love that you can lock the lid too so you can't, you know, squeeze it out. It's really good for travel and things like that. But it's literally like a serum. It's like really runny, but it's really like creamy. Like it almost feels like oil. It has coconut milk, um, coconut oil, and whipped egg white proteins. And that's supposed to help your hair um, and keep it from breaking. I usually do one pump per side of my hair just so that it's a good amount of product distributed. You do want to put this on when it's damp. You don't want to put it on when it's dry. Otherwise, your hair is going to feel a little oily and greasy. But if you put this in while it's wet, the hair absorbs it really, really well. And it coats all your strands. Especially if you have split ends, this is really good because it's going to coat all those split ends and really um, help repair them and keep them from breaking. And I like to just take the excess and rub it onto the ends. My hair on the end is really dry right now, so I really like to take extra and put it on the ends. But I'm not even playing around with you guys when I say, like you guys can even see, like this is where my hair broke. Like you can see all the short hair where my hair broke and things like that. And then honestly, those pieces were like right here when it started and the fact that the rest of the hair around it's not breaking anymore is because of this stuff. It really, really helped. It also gives your hair a really, really nice shine, which I appreciate. Because who doesn't like silky, shiny, satiny hair? And then I just take my brush again and I brush through and I make sure that all of the product gets distributed evenly amongst my strands. And now you guys can see like the, the strands of my hair and like the color. You can see that it's like way, way ashy, which I love just makes it so much easier and it saves you so much money instead of going to the salon. It does take me longer to wash my hair now, but like I don't really care because I would rather spend time in the shower than time at the salon. That's going to cost me money and more time and more effort and things like that. And then I'm just going to brush out my roots. And this actually will get a little bit of the excess product into your roots without you having to put so much on it. One thing I will say, I have really oily, greasy hair, so if I put product in my roots, a lot of the time it'll just get more oily and there'll be like more product buildup and things like that. But yes, I love this stuff. And now my hair is super nourished. The other thing that I use every so often is this Moroccan hair serum. I actually got this from one of those like little booths like in the mall when they give you like a straightener. Um, and they gave it to me as a gift, but honestly, I used, before this, I used, like, the Josie Moran Moroccan Oil Hair Serum, and Moroccan Oil is so good for your hair. This one is also a heat protectant as well, but it does say, um, to apply afterwards, um, after using heat. It says to use it on damp hair, and then it says if you're straightening or blow drying, apply it afterwards to seal split ends and replenish your hair. And it says it recommends to use after every heat application. And this has jojoba, vitamin E, and omega-3s and 9, um, along with the Moroccan oil. So it really, really, same thing, kind of like serum. But this one feels more silky. But if anything, guys, like Josie Moran, Moroccan oil, it's amazing. But I just like to put this in, too, for like a little bit of added silkiness and hydration. And you guys don't ever want to go too heavy on the oils and the serums just because then it's going to weigh your hair down. So I, I am using more than the average bear just because I have so much hair and it's super long. So just try to make sure you guys aren't overdoing it, oversaturating your hair, and you won't have that problem. But yeah, guys, that's it. That's really what I do for hair care. And then I just kind of like do my hair, get it done, and then 
it's all ready to go. Another really good product that I use from Organics is this Argan Oil of Morocco. Um, this is a healing dry oil, and I do really, really like this, um, especially after I do my hair. It does help with, like, flyaways and frizz and things like that. I don't use this as often. I use it more on the days that, like, I don't wash my hair, so, like, three-day hair, four-day hair by that time. Some of the moisture is already kind of leaving my hair so i use this on like the ends after i'm done styling it to help just maintain like that silky feel and that hydrated look but yeah those are all of the products that i use on a daily basis for my hair to keep it nice and silky and luscious um i'm telling you guys if you're bleaching your hair that's the way to go for toning. This is the way to go for maintenance. And I'm not even kidding when I tell you guys, if you're going to pick up anything that I mentioned, get this guy. This is the most amazing thing ever, ever. My mom used to, my mom was using Coco and Eve, like that $50 hair care treatment. And I got her this instead. And she returned Coco and Eve because she loved this so much. So that I'm telling you. I'm telling you. But thanks guys for watching today's video. If you liked the video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, hit that little bell, you'll get a notification every time I post a new video, and I will see you guys in my next one.